Okay, I want to finish up the review for FCA number nine, geometry FCA number nine. We did uh, eight questions or so um, in class. I'm going to do the rest of it. Uh, let's start with this question. John is making a TV stand for the corner of his room. He wants to keep his lizards in the bottom portion of the TV stand. The lizards need so much space, though. What is the capacity? Okay, that means we're dealing with volume. What is the capacity in cubic inches? of Jason's truncated cube. Okay, so we're looking for the volume of a, of a three-dimensional solid like this, um, and we're given the dimensions of the cube 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. So what we can do is we can find the volume of a cube and subtract from it the volume of this triangular prism and that will give us the volume of the trunc truncated cube. Okay, so notice we've got 12 inches by 12 inches, and uh, you've got 4 inches here. So this, uh, the, 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 this is a right triangle, so this leg here would be 8 inches. And this leg is 8 inches. So we have an isosceles right triangle, and you know this is 12. Um, the area of a, tri uh, of, a, of a prism is the area of the base times the height of the prism. So what we need to do is we need to find the area of this, of this triangle and multiply it times the height of, of the prism, which is 12. Okay, so remember with a right triangle, let's get rid of that, that doesn't look very good, that was supposed to be the right angle symbol, but the area for, for a right triangle you know, the area is equal, let's go back to the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is one-half the base times the height. Well, remember the height is perpendicular to the base. So with the right triangle, one of the legs is the height, while the other leg is the base. Okay, so the area of this triangle, this triangular base, is going to equal one-half the base, which is 8, and the height times the height, which is also 8. Okay, so the area of the triangular face of this prism is 32 um, square inches. Now remember what we're trying to do. We want to get, we want to, well, I maybe should have started with this, but we're going to get the area of the cube. We're going to subtract from it the area of this triangular prism. And what's left will be the, um, excuse me, we're going to get the volume of the cube and then the volume of the triangular prism, subtract the volume of the triangular prism from the volume of the cube, and what's left has to be the volume of the truncated cube. So we're starting with the area of the, of the triangular base, okay? And then the volume will be um, the volume of the triangular prism. I'm just going to put P for prism, will equal the area of the base, which is 32, times the height of the prism, which is 12. So 32 times 12 is 384. Okay, so the volume of the triangular prism is 384 cubic inches. Okay, and then we'll take the, the, the volume of the cube I'll put a C for Q. The volume of the cube is, you know, the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height, or for, for a cube, which is going to be side squared, so that each side is 12 inches, so we've got 12 to the third, which is, um, what, 1,728 cubic inches. So we're simply just going to subtract 1,000. 728 um, minus 384 and what do we get? 1,340 uh, cubic inches would be the volume of um, Right, let's undo that. That's going to be the volume of this of this cube here. 
Okay, so we don't have to necessarily do it in this order, but you know, step one, we found the area of the triangular base of the prism of this shaded area, and then we found the volume of that triangular prism. Okay, and then we found the volume of the cube, and then we subtracted the volume of the triangular prism from the volume of the cube, and what's left over has to be the volume of the truncated cube. Okay, let's see how we're doing on time here. All right, let's go to the next one. Alice bought an ice cream cone. The ice cream was in a right circular cone with a radius of three inches and a height of five inches. The cone was stuffed with ice cream and, and a hemisphere of ice cream was on top. The hemisphere also had a radius of three inches. What was the total volume of ice cream? To the nearest tenth of a cubic inch. So we've got, we, we don't have a formula for the, for the volume of an ice cream cone, but we do have the formula for a volume of a sphere. Okay, the, the ice cream itself is a half a sphere, so we can get the volume of a, of a sphere with a um, radius of three inches. Okay, and then we can get the volume of a cone with a radius of three inches and a height of five inches. Take half of the, of the uh, volume of the sphere and add it to the volume of the cone, and we've got the volume of the, 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 the total ice cream cone and ice cream. Okay, so let's start with the, um, the volume of, of, of the sphere. So that's going to be, uh, I'll put an S for sphere. We've got four-thirds times pi. I'm going to use 3.14 for pi times the radius for the, the, the sphere is 3 inches, and that's cubed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, 3 to the third, which is 27, times 3.14, and then I'm going to multiply it times 4, and then I'm going to divide it by 3. That way I don't end up uh, losing any of my value with a, with a uh, repeating decimal in 4 thirds. So, and when I get the volume of the, uh, of the hemisphere, well, remember we, we actually wanted uh, half of that, so let's just go ahead and divide that by 2. And when I divide by 2, I get 56.52 uh, cubic inches. It's a lot of ice cream, it sounds like. All right, and then we're going to add that to the volume of the cone. So I'm going to put a C for the volume of the cone. We've got one-third times 3.14 times the radius, which is also 3, and that's squared, and times the height, okay, which is 5. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 3.14 times 9 times 5, and then I'm going to divide it by 3, and you get 47.1. Okay, so then I'm going to add the uh, 56.52 plus the 47.1, and you get 103.62, and the direction said round to the nearest uh, tenth. So I'm just going to put over here 103.6, and there's our answer. So first we found the volume of a sphere and divided it in half. That gave us the volume of the ice cream. Then we found the volume of the cone. And then we added those two together, and we've got 103.6.